Is this something that is going to be paid much more attention to now? Oh, absolutely. Changes are being made in courts all across Minnesota in the wake of a CARE 11 investigation. It showed how domestic abusers are keeping their guns despite laws and court orders. Here's A.J. Legault with this continuing investigation, a failure to check. Whether you're pro-gun control or pro-gun rights, there is generally common ground in one area. Domestic violence and guns don't mix. When they do, the results are often all too predictable, as Julie Hildreth's daughter, Kaylee, can attest. Took away a mother, a sister, a daughter, a grandmother, all because he was jealous. In 2014, there was broad bipartisan support in Minnesota's capital to pass the Domestic Violence Firearm Act. It mandated abusers subject to orders for protection, OFPs, give up their guns and file an affidavit like this, telling the court exactly what's happened to them. But when CARE 11 reviewed thousands of cases, a full year's worth of state court data, we found these 48 counties don't have a single record on file of a domestic abuser giving up a gun. Statewide, the gun transfer affidavits are on file in just 4% of cases. We pointed the gun in the vehicle at me and my kids. We found case after case, like Desiree Nelson's, where domestic violence victims told the court a gun was part of the violence, but there was no record the court followed up to ensure the gun transfer order was actually obeyed. They didn't make sure it got done. After CARE's investigation aired, State Senator Ron Latz, the ranking minority member of the Judiciary Committee, vowed to get answers from state court administration. And what they've told me is that, first of all, they weren't aware that this was much of an issue. Uh, so just the reporting on it uh, gave them information that was useful. Among the reform steps taken in response, this notice was sent to all judges in the state, reminding them to order the transfer of firearms when appropriate and require the filing of a firearms affidavit. And they're trying to uh, create greater awareness uh, within the judicial branch and particularly at the district court level. In addition, the courts created a new form for judges to use that allows those subject to orders for protection to attest under penalty of perjury that they do not own a firearm. With this increased awareness, I think the judges are gonna have to be more thoughtful about how they approach this. Well, the senator says it remains to be seen whether these policy changes within the judicial branch will close the safety gap or if it will need a legislative fix. Randy. Either way, they're much more aware of it now, though. Certainly it is on the radar. You bet. Thanks, AJ. Julie?